Manual and Z offset helper sheet, Ethernet cable, scraper, printer feet, hardened steel hot end, screwdriver, and tools. I'm very impressed with the packaging of this printer. Here is the back side of the printer, which houses the dry box as well as the filament runout sensor. In this box is the included filament and dry box. We were both so impressed by how large the build volume was, so naturally we had to see if the fro fit. Baby, you don't say. Don't mind the singing. I do this when I'm happy. First step, select our language. Now it's asking us to go ahead and cut and remove all the zip ties. Once we cut all the ties, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Click next, and the screen will prompt you to remove the four locking screws, which will then allow us to move the bed. The next step will have us remove the foam under the bed by raising the bed up with the up arrow on the screen. At this time, you can go ahead and also remove the larger zip ties. Next steps, we'll go ahead and manually heat the nozzle to 250 degrees C and load the supplied PLA filament. Once the hot end temp is reached, the next step is to use the down arrow on the screen to manually purge some filament. Select the gear icon, click on calibration. Now select Auto Bed Leveling. Manually set the bed temperature to 80 degrees C. At this point, the printer will go ahead and probe the entire bed. The screen will prompt you that it's finished and to go ahead and click Next. This should save the mesh settings. After saving the bed mesh, it went straight into setting the Z offset, which at this point, you'll need the supplied black Z offset paper to complete. Here, you're going to be raising or lowering the bed with the up and down arrows on the screen until you get the perfect distance between the nozzle and bed. I ended up finding that a Z offset of negative 1.54 millimeters was a perfect distance for my machine. Click the arrow to save the setting. Back at the calibration screen, we will now select input shaping. You literally just sit back and listen to the printer sing its tune and you do nothing. After it's complete, you're ready to start your first print. Obviously, I printed the Benchy file the printer came with. Overall, I feel very satisfied with my purchase of the Cheaty X Max 3. The step-by-step -step setup was very helpful and easy to follow. I would definitely recommend this printer to anybody who's on the fence about purchasing one. It's awesome. Thanks again for watching another episode of 3Buzz Garage.